What's up family? Welcome and welcome you all to my YouTube channel. My name is Susanna N and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And welcome to today's video. Today's video is question and answer. So I got, I asked some of my Instagram followers and also TikTok followers, lots of reasons. And then these are the questions that they asked. And I'm actually going to be reading out. I know you're going to to, to to be satisfied now when I answer your questions, okay? So, and if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe, kindly share, kindly like. Just if you come across my YouTube channel, don't just pass it like that. Subscribe, for God's sake. Subscribe, share, like. And if you're my channel subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos. Kindly leave a friend also to come and watch and subscribe and share and like. I really really appreciate thank you so much so without further ado these are the questions that I'm going to be answering now like are you married yes I am married with one kid and he's staying with my husband yeah so like now since 20 2021 uh, so four years now i'm in marriage and i have one kid and who is now one year and 10 months old so all thanks be to almighty yeah so the next question do you miss being single the answer is yes i miss being single why because a lot of things were happening when i was single whereby you can go out without anybody telling you not to go you can go for lunch in a place without anybody telling you i don't have money you can go you can just plant any type of hair you can use your money the way you want without thinking uh i have i have a child uh my house needs such and such a thing all things like that so i miss being single and by the way even if you ask any lady who is married now that question that 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 lady will tell you like the love I just told you. The other question is how long have you been married? I have actually been in marriage for four years now. Yeah, and all thanks be to God. Do you want to stay in marriage forever? God willing. If things go well, then why not stay in marriage for forever? Yeah, you know sometimes there are so many things that happen in marriages. So you cannot promise you're going to stay for with someone forever or you're not going to stay with someone forever. So just few things happen. You might say today you're going to stay in marriage forever and the next day things go wrong. You people are separated. So that one I'm not going to promise whether I'm going to stay in marriage forever or not. So the other question is how many friends do you have? Back in Uganda, I actually had uh, two friends, uh, yeah, but now in Kenya, I don't have a friend, yeah, that is the honest truth, I can tell you guys, I don't have a friend in Kenya, like I don't have, I don't have, because when I come here for the first time, I actually met a friend called Joan, and we started, I was working and she was working. So when we started saving, if you've ever watched, if you want to watch that video, you can just go and search on my videos. How my best friend scammed me 21k. So that lady actually tried to steal money from me. So that's why I decided to quit friends. No friends, just like that. Let me just be on my own and just with my family. Yeah, just like that. Maybe when I go back to work, because now I'm not working, I'm just a stay-at-home mom. Maybe when I go to work, I might find friends, but in all, I will not make anybody my best friend. Yeah, that is the honest truth. So, the next question is, why do you love Kenya? Why do I love Kenya? I love Kenya because Kenyan people are good. Most especially ladies. I'm not going to say men are bad, but there are some also who are bad and also some applies to ladies. But most especially I like ladies because they give you advice. Yeah, they can tell you be careful, 
such kind of people yeah and then another thing why i love kenya is money their money has big value compared to the you can compare it to the dollar like sometimes it can go higher sometimes higher than the dollar so sometimes the dollar can go higher than it when it comes down so it competes with the dollar okay that's why i love kenyan money it has big value yeah and also their houses the houses are not that bad they are good how they are built like if you watch the video of yesterday that i uploaded so you can go and watch why i love kenya so another question is how have have you ever cheated on your man like have i ever cheated on my husband ever since we got married hell no no let me tell you something about me guys me i have that mentality like when i'm dating one person like i've seen my heart my heart has loved that person nevertheless will you come and convince me to leave that man and go to another man no when i've loved the person i've loved the person i mean it and never i never will i change my mind and go and cheat because of money because of what no i've never cheated on my husband and nevertheless will that happen in my life when i'm still married no Huh. another question is how many kids do you want to have in future me actually i'm a c-section i went through a c-section for my firstborn and uh, and for the the kids i want in future actually is i want three kids god willing i want three kids if i miss three then i'll have two yeah that will be better for me first of all there is no need of, of giving birth to many kids yet the cost of living now is just high increasing every day so there is no need because yeah that is it what movies do you love to watch most most i love uh, dj afro movies indian movies most especially Long time ago, I used to love those movies of uh, Rambo, uh, Chuck Norris, yeah, things like that. But now I love DJ Afro Indian movies, and I love uh, Nigerian movies. Most Nigerian movies, those are which are acted in towns about girls, ladies only movies, about kingdom movies, yeah. So I love those movies most. Another question is. So the other question is, do you love staying with a drunkard husband? Hmm. Yeah. Because he's not a drunk every day. He might be come home drunk today and the next day will come when he's normal. The next day also will come when he's normal. So I can stay with him. Yeah. Do you want to become famous oh yes who does not want to become famous who does not want to be popular known everywhere just like diamond platinum or just like miss sudu just being known all over the world yeah i want i want to be famous i want to be popular i want to be like interviewed on tv and yeah i just want that why do you why do why do you why don't you like wearing makeup Ooh. <laughs> actually before i used to wear makeup like i love makeup most like ever i love wearing makeup but then um, when i gave birth in a hospital i was told that when you have a small kid in the house you're not supposed to to be having those smelling smelling things many many things with a lot of perfume in it and uh, like most especially makeup when you smear when you wear it on your face and there is always that perfume that comes out of it and it will be all over the house and it will cause something bad for the 
for the baby and the baby is still small. So that was advised that when that baby grows up and started going and starts going to school, that's when you have to introduce yourself to those smelling, smelling things. Yeah, fantastic things. So it's not my fault. I'm doing all that for the sake of my baby. Yeah, I don't want problems. The other question is, what do you do when your man comes? What do you do when your man comes home drunk? What do I do when my man comes on drunk? I normally just pay a bell fear. I don't. What I normally do is just pay a bell fear to him and then open the door for him quietly without talking. After he enters inside, I just lock the door and get back to the bed. So that is what I normally do. When he comes and starts talking, blah, 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 I just keep quiet i don't reply to him so i just has him like i am only me it is only me in the house so that is what i do but if you say to actually shout with that person you will end up fighting i think even that is what caused our last time fight our that made us to get separated some time back so the other question is how do you how have you been on YouTube? Uh, huh. How have I been on YouTube? I don't know how this person was asking me. I don't know. Maybe this person is actually a boy. I don't know. I think he was asking me. He was trying to ask how long have I been on YouTube. I've been on YouTube for like four years now. Hey, hey. Four years. Is it four years or five years? From 20, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024. Oh, five years <laughs> without being monetized on YouTube. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> oh my God. Between working, uh, between a working mom and a stay at home mom. Which one do you love most? Which one do I love most? That is what the person was asking me. That person is a lady. Who asked me this question? Do I love working, being a working mom or being a stay-at-home mom? Mm, I love both. I love both. But uh, most especially, I love being a working mom. I don't want to just stay at home like that because life is hard now. Depending on one person is very very hard for everything When you want to buy something little you have to ask for money when you want to go to buy something for the baby You have to go and ask for money just from one person. So it is better to be a working mom Yeah, also you can be a stay-at-home mom while doing other things that give you something little so it's not both are, are good, okay? so do you guys have time for each other since your husband comes on drunk? Oh my god. These questions actually come, came. These people ask me these questions because I posted a video of me and, husband, and my husband when we got separated last time. Actually, yes, we normally have time for each other, most especially on Sunday. That's when we normally sit and bond that as a family the three so because every sunday we go to church together and uh, yeah so we normally have time we can just walk around after church we walk around then after we come back home so it is only on sunday that's when we off yeah so we normally have time for each other do you believe in check in second chances yeah there is no way you can reject you to give someone a second chance because you never know. One day also you, you can be in trouble and you that you and that very person that you rejected will be the one to help you. So it's good to give second chances. Maybe someone has changed completely. Yeah. So it is good to give a, someone a second chance in life. 
do you trust your man actually you you who asked me this question do you trust your boyfriend she's not married actually do you trust your boyfriend romi no no i don't trust my man no woman ever ever can trust a man outside there because you don't know where he goes and when he comes home the phone is full of passwords you don't even enter to whatsapp to contact to just even direct messages ah do you trust that person me no i don't trust him i don't trust him at all can you give your man your phone for a day like from morning to evening is with my phone no 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 one calls on my phone from morning unless maybe my friends my family but why should i give him my phone and then i stay like that from morning up to evening because i want him to believe in me that you're not cheating or what no i'm not going to give him my phone hell no with me no if you could change one thing what could that be if i could change one thing what could that be to change my life now from being married to single that is what i could change because <laughs> let me tell you guys eh marriage is not easy yeah it's not easy it's just full of trouble full of many things so if i am to change anything now i could change this marriage so that all of us will be single and just maybe me myself i just remain single without a man so that is what i could change if i was told to change now yeah so those are actually the questions that i actually got on my instagram dm and tiktok and and then i thought of answering it today for you guys thank you so much for your questions and thank you so much for being good 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 family to me finally if you haven't yet subscribed to my youtube channel kindly subscribe share and like and i really really appreciate your support in case of any question you want to ask that if you want to ask me anything go ahead and ask me i am susanna n on instagram just go and send me your message okay i will answer it and yeah i appreciate i'll see you all in my next video have a blessed weekend you all bye